I'm an animator and a filmmaker and a director in Harare. Um, I run a small studio called Nafuna Media. All our web shows, all our documentaries, and ultimately the animation are all to create content that celebrates being African. Our broadcaster has had uh, challenges, especially in terms of quality control. They were very outdated, uh, they hadn't digitalized yet, coupled with the fact that you know we have an on and off stream of electricity and power. So for me, video on demand was a better solution. People can always come back to the video at their own convenience. For us, it was just a faster way to just put it on YouTube. All the content we create is there first, as well as YouTube in itself for just learning. I gained all the knowledge from just YouTube videos because I couldn't afford to go to school or study long distance. If they'd give me a degree, <laughs> it would come from YouTube. There's always a sort of cultural identity crisis with a lot of people in my generation. When I found out that my daughter was on her way and I wanted to create content that she'd consume that would encapsulate African cultural systems and heritage so that she sort of grew up with some kind of sensibility and identity as an African. Locally, we run a small studio called Nafuna. I aspire to be the biggest animation house in Africa. I want to be in a position where I can tell African stories that people actually like and they consume for the animation we create to be celebrated and enjoyed by generations to come of future Africans even after we're gone. Fast lane, uh huh. I'm on fire like my last name. Fast lane, uh huh. I'm on fire like my last name. Part MC, part animator, part sage. I don't know, battle me.